Okay, the first thing on the agenda Perfect. is reorganizing the board, and I make a motion that we um, appoint Todd Wyckoff as chair and Bryce Carter as vice chair. Second. And moved and second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 <laughs> Move. I don't know, there was a look. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like not kinda signing like the a checks. <laughs> Like a railroad job, right, Todd? Yeah. <laughs> we heard that train, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, we have the annual resolutions. I think they were, I gave them to Bryce. So yeah, I got them somewhere here. Um, the first one is designated needing all the banks in the county as depositories. Um, 2022-2 is, is the um, cash basis accounting <coughs> resolution. The third one is designated courier the as the official newspaper. And the fourth one is uh, setting the mileage reimbursement rate at 50 cents a mile. We talked about that last week, going from 48 to 50. Okay. Can we do all these resolutions yep. on one vote? Mm -hmm. So it's resolution 2022-1 through 4? Yep. yep. I guess you make motions. You, you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I make a motion that we adopt resolution 2022 1 through 4. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Um, I, is a holiday schedule there too somewhere? You might be. Did I leave it at the courthouse? If not, we can do it next week. It might be at the bottom of these papers. You know. <clears throat> morning, Mike. Good morning. Morning. The holiday schedule? Yes. Um, I took off the Juneteenth yeah. holiday and the December 23rd. I just left on the what, the 26th? I can't remember. 26th? Yeah. yeah. So I'll make a motion we adopt the Stafford County ho holiday schedule and authorize the chairman to sign. Second. A motion and a second. Oh, that's just checking. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Okay. Um, I have the Rural Opportunity Zone resolution here that Carolyn asked you about last week. Uh, it doesn't obligate any county funds to the um, rural opportunity zone. This is the program. one that Mike looked at, right? No, that's just the annual uh, rural opportunity zone. It, we do, where it does not, the county does not obligate any county funds to it. It's okay. The, the yeah. Business on, owner yeah. can opt into it if he wants. Mm -hmm. And that's an annual. We have to do it annually. I thought we usually on the <coughs> holidays we usually got eleven holidays. There's twelve. Is there another one? Extra one there, the chair? Well, you're probably counting the two days at, at November. There's eleven if you count over here, but we get Thursday and Friday at Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Uh, that makes sense. You guys get at this rural opportunity yes. now. Yep. I make a motion that we adopt resolution number 2022-5. Second. A motion a second. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Uh, I did, I did, did. Oh, hold on. What? What is it? You looked at it. Okay. Is this the for economic? No, that's yeah, okay. the rural opportunity zone one. We do it annually. Oh. Okay. This is the one you looked at. Okay. Are I you good with it? I was making sure I knew what you were. Yeah. Are you good with this one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's next. Okay. Oh, just, oh I'm that too. Sorry to interrupt. And then this is the one that I was talking about. Right. Before. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it's for the economic disadvantage impact of COVID. There's that one. I don't think it obligates the county to. I don't think it does. Distressed or underdeserved non-metropolitan geographic. 
I think she's thinking it will help with some of the grant processes. I don't know. Yeah. I make a motion that we adopt resolution number 2022-6. Second. So motion on 2022-6. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and if you can go ahead and do the minutes and the tax roll corrections, we'll have all that out of the way. I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the January 5th, 2022 meeting. Second. A motion a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I thought I know what I was saying. No, guys, we're waiting for a motion. Motion carried. Don't oh, have it, so I have a break. Yep. Did you look at these tax roll corrections? Some golf carts and a wrong Peterbilt, and that's about it. Nothing huge. And then that's that resolution for you to sign. I'll make a motion we accept the tax roll corrections. Second. We have a motion a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. You're going to have, have you had carpal tunnel surgery yet? No, well, my arthritis is already <laughs> flaring up. <laughs> I just don't these right. Yeah. Okay. Do I have all my resolutions? You have all six of them? systems that we have to do and they we have a bid in them 36,000 for 911 is going to cover tw over $20,000 of it and I told you someone have to come out of the reserve and I have I have a figure at 1570 15,735 that would be coming out of my reserve so I'm just keeping you informed so you're not getting blindsided when you see a check yeah okay and uh, we're also we're de still dealing with AT&T on a few things to get that part straight down but what was that called? Uh, this is Interpool. It's part of our CAD system. Okay. Yeah. So what does it do? <laughs> In layman's <laughs> terms. <laughs> well, okay. Boy, is this routing it, calls or? It, it helps with the calls, um, where they go and how they're categorized and everything else. And it just kind of, like we have animals out here and different things like that. I'm just using that for instance here. It'll all be on one system instead of having to go over here, get out of our system, go to another computer to keep tabs on this one. Um, give closer directions on 911 calls and things like that. It's a, it's a whole big conglomerate of different things that it do. But it's basically like a big software program. It, it is. It's a lot of it's big, basically big software. It finally gets us up with everyone that's around us. We've been behind times for a long time. And I, and I think, Rob, doesn't it also log, you know, the call came in at this particular mm -hmm. minute, you and know. And records and everything. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can almost, if anyone ever asked, okay, when did the call come in about that fire up on Quivira? When did officers get dispatched? I mean, it, it I mean, literally <coughs> just <coughs> minutes, <coughs> almost <coughs> minute by this minute. This person sheet and this person sheet. And every person sheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think people realize that when the fire department goes out to call, the chiefs have to come back in and fill out. A long sheet, a, a, long, a, a red form. sheet on yeah, every fire, sheet. and I mean, I think this instead of them having to go back and listen to the audio recording, they can go back and give it to them. Yeah, yeah. You, you ought to be able to print out your CAD sheet, uh, and it's a minute by minute. 
I believe they call them fire cards, EMS uses them too. They're little blue extra things that we have to do for those departments and so on. So they're going to make it easier all the way around. Like I said, it gets us out of the backwoods. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, we had a chance to do it a long, long time ago and something happened. I don't know. That was before my time mm -hmm. and it never went. So is there going to be anything else needed for 911? Is this just the beginning um, or? There might be just little things, but like I say, most of it's going to come out. It's going to come out of reserve, and what a 911 system will pay for a lot of it itself. Um, some of our equipment that we have, like our desk and all that stuff, those are secondhand when we got them, and we've had them quite a few years, and they're trying to they're falling apart. But we can get those too, and 911's money will pay for it. We have like 160 thousand dollars in our 911 fund. So I mean, none of it's coming generally out of our general account budget and everything else so it's just basically making you aware of it yeah okay i don't like being blindsided so the 911 calls now are going to be maintained by at&t well remember we had the problem yeah. with the systems eight we, we, we're doing a switch over to at and going. it's supposed to take care of that problem and actually it's going to reduce cost of our billing their proposals show a re reduced cost. Yeah. So. And this only pertains to 911? 911, nothing else in the courthouse, just just to our center ourselves. The rest of the courthouse is on Golden Belt. Golden Belt, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. So dispatch, if you call dispatch number. We'll still have the same numbers and everything else, but yeah. it'll, it, most of it's going to be handled through at and now. Okay. Instead of... I, I, you yeah. call it Sprint, MR, whatever yeah. you want to call it. GBT uh, wasn't... Interested yeah, in really nine one one one. It's when we did the flip over, they <laughs> actually said they absolutely wanted nothing to do with nine one one. Now I think eventually someday they probably will, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, now, question, Rob. Did the AT and T technician go down in the basement and look at the batteries and all they that stuff? Looked at, yeah, there have been several of them down here and talked and looked at different things before. Does that need to be? Redone? Does it need to be get off the floor? That I am not sure of. Sure. I mean, if the batteries are on the floor, if there's a water leak down there, that wouldn't be good for them. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, there probably should be probably. But they are going to look at that, or they have. And I don't think all the batteries backup stuff is for us only. I don't. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I thought I, it was. There's I four of them down there. I don't know. When we were down there, it just looked like some important stuff. I didn't know what it was, but it looked important. There's that console <laughs> and was, thing. And it may not yeah. be. It, it may be old stuff. Important. But of course, we ha and we have another console mm -hmm. in one of our offices mm -hmm. that they put up and everything else. So, mm -hmm. so. you're kind of getting over my head yeah. on a lot of that stuff. It, have you ever seen that, Mike? The 911 nerve center that's in the basement. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's with you guys. But there's like four batteries there, and they have chargers on them, and they're a lot of that. I, I just think you probably ought to figure it out <laughs> before there's a yeah. problem. Yeah. Hopefully, with this switch over, we will get a lot of yeah. we'll, away with a lot of different things because we had an individual that worked for CenturyLink, I guess, and he was a little different to work with, and. <laughs> Century Link just kind of oh, yeah. Century Link in this area just kind of fizzled out. It's yeah. yeah. like I mean they just was AT and T here yesterday? Because some guy came up out of the basement when I walked by there yesterday. Yeah, I don't, I don't sure, know where I'm he not was sure which one he was. Has I know they were requesting we had to have a new a few plugins put in for wiring mm -hmm. in that room so that yeah uh, Davis Electric had to come in and they did that cap holes they? and everything else. Didn't they they kind of wouldn't do that. that. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I had, and also I requested probably just a five-minute executive session for non-elected personnel. Okay. So, Mike, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know what, everybody, okay. It's not bad, it's not bad. I'll make a motion we go into the executive <laughs> session for five minutes for non-elected personnel with the clerk, deputy clerk, county attorney, Rob, and the three commissioners. Second. We have a motion and a second in the discussion. Favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Explain. You know, I think I need to explain first, okay? Okay. You need to go to the section. No, I don't. No. Okay. The public needs to know what's going on here. Okay. Okay. I hired Don George and I hired Lisa Milton as part time personnel. All they did was receive it in 
tax receipts, tax payments. That's it. Did not help balance at the end of the day. When they were done receiving, they left. My girls only get paid 14 plus an hour. I felt $15 an hour was plenty for part-time help. That's it. So, and you guys approved my voucher. Why did it take a week to decide that you needed to pay them $10 an hour more? I guess it was brought to our attention, you know, on the commissioners, at least the way I look at it, is it's our job to keep the offices open. Mm -hmm. And if DG was filling in because there was several he filled in in the uh, appraiser's office and your office because COVID was running rampant, uh, and it's important that we have people. DG was a good fill in. You know, he's worked in the courthouse. He knows how to deal with he people. He did not know how to do our tax payments. And Lisa. But basically, all you need to have, you're not going to be able to find a fill-in if three of your gals get front, sick at the front desk instead of shutting the office down. We did have to shut the office down. I'm All sorry. Right. And we didn't help it up while DG was there. My part, my, I hire part-time help during harvest and I pay them more than I do full-time help because I don't have to, they're not on the salary year-round. They don't get benefits, anything like that. So I guess in my thought was it was nice that if we have a crisis in one of the offices, we have somebody that can come in and basically stand behind the desk and answer questions and relay messages. That's all our deal was. That my deal was. Okay. That's, that's why. That's where I'm at on. I think part-time help is worth more, and it, it's particularly troubling to me that you paid them 25 last year. Um, I only paid Lisa. Okay, DG wasn't. No, but didn't he will help. Not be next year. And, and that's fine. That's fine. It's your office. You can hire whoever you want for part time. But I feel that it's a slap in the face to somebody as qualified as Lisa to pay her 25 last year for one, two, three, four, five, six days, and then only pay her 15 this year. I, especially that's when part time help is is uh, you know, in my opinion, worth more than full time help because in a short-term basis because you don't have the overhead. So you're telling me my girls that work, that do three times more than just tax receiving, it's not worth $15 an hour? No, it's I absolutely believe, worth 15 because you have to account excuse for... Excuse me, but I believe Todd said no one will come in for $15 an hour last month of the week. I have three girls in my office that are working for less than $15 an hour. Now you're not adding on the six dollars an hour for the health insurance, or more, and then not two weeks paid vacation, capers, and eleven holidays. Yeah, and eleven paid holidays. I think that there's more to the That's hourly it. pay when you're looking at total compensation for an employee. That's why, in my opinion, part-time help is worth more. I always pay part-time help worth more. You know, if I pay a cowboy to come help catch cows, or I pay somebody to, to do a small job, they get paid more than the going rate if they were a full-time employee. I think that's industry standard. I think if you would go ask anyone in town, you stop them and ask them, hey, is part-time help worth more than a full-time employee that has benefits and all the amenities of being full-time? They would say it's more. And especially when you've paid them more in the past. I don't see how you could, somebody as qualified as That was as in the Lisa, past, Bryce. That was in the past. And I'm sorry, I'm not here to make fire first. When we get in a bind, when we get in a bind, though, Mary, and I feel like the, these two individuals didn't have to come in and help us. That's right, but they came when they wanted and they left when they wanted. Absolutely. They didn't help do just the, the same as they came. They, did not they came come when they wanted and left for our lunches here last year. And they did, but they didn't come and they didn't help with the, the full day's worth of work. Okay. Karen did. So, so I guess just to justify. Karen should have gotten that bonus. Okay, I guess so work. just to justify her being 15 an hour versus 25 an hour last year, what what did she do to deserve less money? She I helped guess. me with my stuff in the back. Last year. Consulting so, me on my treasure. Okay, so do you think that she'd be willing to come back? 
she's a very nice lady in my opinion. She probably would be willing, but in my opinion, if I were paid 25 last year to do something and then I came in and worked again this year for 15, I would consider that not kosher and I wouldn't come back. Church choice. Okay. Well, Church choice. I guess and that shows how much another. we, I guess that shows how much we value our part-time help. I mean, I guess, or how much we don't value our full-time help. I have another issue. It's up to my office, is from what I've been told, that I am the one that decides on whether people have to pay the penalty fees. Is that right? On late payments? I have no idea. That's what I've always been told. Right, what? Taxes. Tax payments. Oh, it's taxes. Yes. Yeah. If they're late paying their pay, okay. We get a tax statement the other day and it's late. The check's wrong, they're late, the payment was late. There's a note on here and said that if they have a late payment, please call Donna at the LLA Gas. She has no authority to waive those fees. She has stirred this whole oil mess. We have gotten so many phone calls from oil taxes being messed up. I've got people that got oil taxes this year that haven't gotten them for since 2006 and they sold the property why are they getting a tax statement for oil royalties this year and that's the kind of stuff that we are dealing with in our office so this is a tax statement for an oil and gas interest yes, sir, a royalty is. interest it is and i don't it know was, it happened. was ship, or it was paid late it was paid late and, and the note on there says to talk to donna if the late fees were charged so was that note put on there when it was sent out? That was mailed to the customer. That was mailed to the customer. With that note on there? Yes, it was. Yeah. The customer all the back to us with questions. Hmm. Who wrote the note? Donna. I believe it was Donna Rainey. Who's the one here? Yeah. May I see yeah, this? I mean, you, you guys don't realize what all have <coughs> been under with all these oils taxes this year. We've got tons of people calling, why did I not get an oil tax this year when I have gotten them one for every year? I look, it says there's no taxes. Every other year there's taxes, but not this year. Then I have others that are calling and saying, why did I get an oil tax statement? I haven't gotten one for years. And you go back and you look, they haven't gotten one for years, but why did they get one this year? Especially when they sold the property. Something's not right. And somebody needs to get on top of that. Okay. And it's not my office to explain to people. Yeah. We, Have you asked we, Carl about that? Yeah, I've talked to Carl many times about it. What do you say? He knows his problem is. That's yeah, this not my says call. that maybe it went to the wrong address. I That's guess that not my this. Fault. Yeah. No, I know. And I don't. I know, but I'm just trying to decipher because it's not <clears throat> written. Very well. A person called and stated that they got your tax statement in their P.O. box. If you have any late fee, please call me. Donna. So. So I guess maybe. Uh, so I you've assessed a late fee. But she's not. Us. She's not stating that she doesn't have to pay the late fee, right? It says I, to call her. What's she gonna do when the lady calls her? When says I apologize. Her maybe she's gonna say I apologize. It. You know, it got sent to the wrong deal. No, you know what she tells them? You need to call your oil company and get the address straight. Is that it's, what she tells them? Yes. I'm sorry, but if I have a customer call me and tell me that they have a different address than what I mailed their statement to, years before we've usually just taken it over, Don George fixed it, and we went on our way, and everything was fine. This year we've taken them over there, and she says they, they need to call the oil company and have the oil company get it straight so that when they send us their information, it is correct. But I can guarantee if my if I called somebody and told them what my address was, it better get changed. And I'm pretty sure she would be the same way. So there's a big issue there too. So we've taken it upon ourselves just to start changing addresses. Well, it sounds like we need to have a visit with Carl about that. Yeah. That's all I said. I'm sorry if I 
did something wrong. I don't agree with what you guys did, but I have no control over it. I know you don't agree with what I did. It is what it is. I thought it was coming out of my budget. I didn't realize there was another line item that that helped could come out of. Yeah, I so, think it, it can come out of your motor vehicle too. No. That was not motor vehicle not, purposes. Yeah, this property uh, tax and I'm sorry, but if that's the way you think my girls should get paid what I feel like they are paid for, I'll start paying them out of that then. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, and we can no we, we can uh, we can agree to disagree, I that's guess, fine. Mary. I agree. Um, I, I, I agree. I mean, that's just part of business. But Sometimes I'm sorry, you have to I guess I was gone last Tuesday. My husband had a doctor's appointment, and I went with last him. Last Tuesday. Yes. When it was said that I was gone in the meeting last Wednesday, I was gone on Tuesday. <clears throat> but, over the thing. Let me play it for you. When you asked if I could be here next or this week. Oh, to explain oh, that. Yeah, to explain our... Yeah. yeah. I wasn't here last Tuesday, yes. Okay. But I didn't yeah, know. You could have, if I needed to be here last Wednesday, I have. Had I think it was just trying to Wednesday explain Wednesday. what my thought process. I have been here. I The only time I have taken off is for sick. No, that, that wasn't a deal. Okay, well, I, I hope it's not. No, absolutely not. I, We're just trying to. <clears throat> The only reason why I made the statement about you coming in is just so we could ex I could explain what my process of thinking was on the deal. I mean, there's just a lot of tension here, and it's not necessary. I don't think I should have yelled at. I might have, I might have been. Read too. I probably was because I was upset when I first read the commissioner's minutes. But I was not ever asked that you told that you guys wanted me to come in and see you. I was told I needed to take it with you guys. Now we know you're elected official, so you don't have to come over here and explain stuff to us. Yeah, I, feel I, I mean, I just I wanted to know, and I know it's not Nita's job to tell me. I just wanted to know what, why, well, and. That's when the fireworks came, and I was like, whoa. I wasn't blaming you for anything. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, but I was and not blaming you, blame you for anything. I thought you should have approached her first before you made a decision. I, we should have. Yeah. I, I should have talked. I do agree with that, and that's I looking back, that's one that. thing that I would have changed. However, my stance still stays and the I same. Agree, which is fine. Yeah, I and but approach I would also friends. like to be notified, too. I was not notified when the auditors came and talked to you guys. I felt like I should have been here. We don't get a chance to do better, Mary. When, don't worry uh, about when, it. When like, Melissa comes in and talks yes. about this? Okay. And y'all talked about my office in here. I knew nothing about that meeting. That's not right. I don't feel like that's right. Okay. We need to. It's just as simple everybody as everybody on the on board. Though. It's just as simple as that. Do you ask, and we'll make sure you're at our next auditor meeting when well, Melissa I mean, comes in. Do you in. not think that I should have been here? If Melissa has a problem with the clerk's office, yeah. Okay. I mean, I think there were some issues. Yeah. I don't know what they were, but okay. Anyway, sorry. Nope. No, I mean, we can't fix it if we don't talk about it. Well, exactly. That's exactly right. So. Yeah, and I do agree that hindsight being 2020, that we should have asked you why, in my opinion, <clears throat> the pair was unfair. I should have asked you and got yeah, got your opinion. That. And but, like I said, I just want to reiterate, my decision would have been the same. I don't know if. Yeah, that. And that's fine. In business, you can disagree, agree to disagree, and go on and, and do business. That is very true. Um, and I agree but, with that, but, but yeah. I feel like I should have been approached before it was slapped in my face. So, anyway, that's all okay. I have to say. All right. yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Phil come in or have you talked to Phil about the Dakota property and what it'll be? 
I haven't talked to him yet. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine sometime this winter we can I we can do so. it. Yep. We uh, I'd like to talk about non elected for a little bit. Probably ten minutes. On um, the executive session? Yep. <clears throat> Are you gonna adjourn after? Do we have anything else? Uh -oh. no. I thought Carl was supposed to be here last week for evaluation yeah. and he never got with me for my agenda, so <clears throat> Oh, I yeah. remember it was he was wanting to come down. Uh, the state was kind of holding him up on the values of the soil types, and he was wanting to kind of come over and talk to us. He said it went better than what he thought it was going to. Yeah, I actually stopped by his office after commission meeting last week and kind of got a short synopsis of it. But yeah, it's actually not. I mean, yeah, it's as good as it could be for what they're doing to us as far as soil types, but. Um, I don't know that those numbers were, I assume that they were official, but is he they here today? They came from the state. They revised they revise them. <clears throat> Did they revise them? Is it? Yeah. The first time they were sent out, they were wrong. Yeah. So now they've re revised them. Now, and now he has them. Now to all is he county them in officials, yet? so they all know what's Yeah, going he's on. got the official ones from the I state right that revised the revised so. straight. And then I think it was also that uh, three soil types going down well, the you know, that he thought was you going could to be come and ask high, it wasn't as high as what it was going to be. Goddamn um, But he's still going to come over? Yeah. Hmm? Can you message Carl and ask him if he's here? Or, or can we, I guess we could call him. I don't him. have Lisa sitting over there to go and tell him. <laughs> you know what, let's just do it next week. Yeah, it's we not that big of a deal. We can. Let's yeah. ask him to come over next week. You're going to be gone though, right? Yes. Yes, I'll be gone. You have to wait till the week after that? That'd be fine. Don't you want to be here? Yep. Yep. Right, yes. I was just thinking by the time he gets over here, I don't want to brush him off. Okay. Because we have that Port Authority meeting at 10. I'll do the 25th. I'll yeah. try, we'll try to do a limited meeting next week. You know. Yeah. Since you'll be gone. Nothing major. Well, we knocked out a bunch of stuff today. Yeah, yeah was, I mean, this was a big stuff. meeting for the month, actually. Um, are you going to be gone just for the well, day? No, I'm going to be gone for a whole week of whole month. What's your opinion on the salary thing? Because they'll need to decide that next week. The increase that we had budgeted? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because she'll need to get it in the system. <clears throat> or would you rather yeah. they do it today? It doesn't matter. You're in charge. Because we've kind of been doing that about every other year. Do you guys want to look it over or are you ready to make a decision? It was basically just $50. It, makes, for it right. makes it like 29 cents an hour is what it works out to. Now I included all the electives and department heads except for Carl into that too. I don't know if you want to not do electives, not do department heads. Yeah. I not just, do... Everybody. I know Carl I just, is out. but. Well, yeah, because Carl's contract, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would just... I mean, we budgeted for it. If you guys want to do it today, right that'd be great because then she could get started on it. Um, Nothing's changed in my mind from it's budget time. Budget. No. Okay. We've already done so it. Finalized the budget. I think if you were going to change something, you would go to the upside versus the low side. But we, this is what we budgeted for, so in my opinion, we just need to enact it. Okay. We've done this fifty dollar raise several times, and we've never had any kickback. Yeah. You know, it's only a six hundred dollar a year yeah. increase. So if you worked here 20 years, you never got another raise in 20 years, those time would be worth $6,000 or more, is the way I look at that. Mm -hmm. And I do think it needs to be for so everybody. Okay. Well, I did. We Carl. did it for everybody. Everybody but Carl. Um, I, I don't, we don't typically give it to Marshall because he's stuck at 1500 Do you want to increase him some, too? He never complains about anything. I would just leave Marshall's and the fire departments the same. Okay. Because that's, what that's we kind did. of their deal. Yeah. Okay. And if he well, wants to come in and ask for more money, we could do it. You, you guys yeah, could do it during it. the year. Um, but that is just elected to department heads and hourly on that sheet. I'll make a motion. Are you back in? Are we in? I didn't yeah, know I we ever went out. We never went out. I make a motion. We adopt resolution 2022-7. Second. We have a motion and a second. All any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. 
how long the executive 15. session? Fifteen minutes. So it's and not elected person. Yeah, no, no action. Who would you like to be? Uh, county attorney, deputy, clerk, and us. Okay. And, and then, then we'll, we'll adjourn. adjourn afterwards. Yeah. A second. We already voted on it. <laughs> Fifteen minutes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Carol. Thank you.